Interface Invoice from Projects to AR. So we are all done with our intercompany AR invoice. We have approved it, released it. Now it is time to interface it from Oracle Projects to Account Receivables module. So to do that, we'll go back to Projects and then simply navigate to View, Request, Submit a New Request, Single Request. And here, start typing the program name PRC. Submit interface streamline processes and then hit the OK button. And here, look for streamline option, which should be XIC interface intercompany invoice to account receivables. Choose that one, hit the OK button, and then optionally you can enter. The other remaining parameter so I'm going to leave it as it is and hit the OK button and I'm going to hit the submit button then no and then hit find to view the status it's going to launch a couple of child programs which would generate the data from projects and it's going to insert into account receivables interface table for invoicing which is also called as auto invoice interface tables and then it's going to launch a program to import the data from those auto invoice interface tables into auto invoice base tables so let's wait for all that to happen so you can see that it has just submitted interface streamline process and as a child process PRC interface invoices to receivables which is where it is extracting the data from projects and dumping it into AR receivable tables, which is completed so hopefully next should be the auto invoice interface program so look at that it just launched the auto invoice import program to suck the data from AR interface tables into AR base tables and then after that hopefully there should be one or two more program like a tieback program from receivables to project for the invoice that got generated in AR module usually these are the programs which are run in the background so the users are unaware of what's happening and they are scheduled to run on say two times in a day or maybe in off peak hours so that it doesn't impact performance of the server okay so this has just completed and even the tieback program you can view the auto invoice import program and its associated output to see whether the invoice has been selected so you can see that one interface line has been selected and the two distributions which are selected and both of them have been successfully processed you can come down you can view the invoice amount and that's it so let's now go into receivables module to look for these invoices and hopefully these invoices you can see that one as well so we gonna note down the number that we gave at the project level for the AR invoice and then you're gonna close these forms and hopefully the invoice should have been created in account receivables so let's switch the responsibility to receivables and then we'll go to transactions transaction summary and we'll try to query by the number that we have hit the find button and see if we can retrieve so there you go you've got the account receivable invoice and here the source is exactly right which is 
project accounting internal invoices and OU is project manufacturing you can open that invoice and you can look at the details so here is a line you've got the tax amount and you can go to the line items to see the details you can see that the customer is Vision Services USA and then as you could see it is for Max Kingston time and you can also go to descriptive flex field to see more details about this okay and you may also view distributions all right and as such the tie back of the project number will be shown over here in the DFF of the line so you can see the project number the one that we gave so that concludes the AR process now in the next movie we'll start with the AP process so we will switch on to the side of vision services and we'll process the invoice for paying back to vision manufacturing from vision services